California, here in LA, perception is everything. This is the home of the judge's book by its cover. Believe that. But they come down here and you might think Skid Row, poverty, hungry, starving. Well, yeah, it's some of that. But I'm gonna tell you, the reason why Skid Row is Skid Row is simply this. You can get three meals a day even if you ain't got no money. You can sit down and people not look at you crazy because they're crazy. You feel a little different, you feel a little freedom. Now, if we go down here and we see, we're gonna hear music, we're gonna smell smells, we're gonna see sights that you might not see anywhere else in the world. What brought me down here was my addiction. You know what I mean? Uh, my addiction and the, uh, the wanting to be uh, free, as they say. But uh, it's totally the opposite. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's a mental trap down here, you know? I mean, for an addict, man, this is like Disneyland. You feel me? Uh, everything that you want, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's, it's here. Why go elsewhere? You know what I mean? <laughs> down here raised me long before my mom and dad ever did. You know, before I learned my ABCs, I was learning the one, two, threes of hustles, feel me? I was about nine years old, and I was standing right here in front of the frontier. Out of nowhere, on like ninth or tenth floor, you, I seen a dead body flying out of a window, and it landed at the ground at my feet. I remember having to wash the chunks of brain matter off my shoe. Being split up with brothers and sisters, being in the system, living with complete strangers that ain't worried about nothing but the check, you know, I mean, but I mean, I think, I think I turned out all right. I'm still here. I've been an addict for years now, you feel me? Been homeless for years, in and out of prison, jail, just the whole nine, you know what I mean? I got a dark life, man. I've been to uh, psychiatrist and therapy for my dad getting murdered. Uh, I went after right after it happened because I, I had a really, went into a really, really deep depression. I was slamming fucking crystal meth. My, from my head to here, I look like a pincushion. Now, it's, it's, I do heroin, but it's not as bad. I want to quit, I really do. I want to quit, I need help, bad. I don't want people to, to necessarily be scared or think everybody's on drugs or everybody's trying to rob you because a lot of us aren't, you know? We, we, we don't give a fuck what you have, you know? We, we got stuff too, you know? <laughs> we just happen to be going through some hard times and whatnot. Skid Row taught me you could be you. And ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. Some of the people that you meet is the realest motherfuckers you will ever know. You feel me? And they be so genuine and they treat better than a, 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 a normal family member would. Call me Jigga, the bike doctor. This is how I make my living. I've been down here about since the 90s, early 90s. Uh, I've been in prison five times, did 20 months for possession, which is now a misdemeanor. <laughs> I give you a ticket. My next move is I ask God for patience and show me the way that he want me to go, you know, you know, and I can't be down here for the rest of my life. There's a lot of things that I don't want to hear and I don't want to be a part of. So once I throw these babies on, I'm in a whole nother world. I skate around, I'm in my zone. God gave us ears for a reason. God had David to calm Saul down when he played the harp. I mean, music is how we feel. Music makes us hyper. Music, you know, wakes some of us up. Music is what some of us listen to. I, I put Beethoven on my ears to go to sleep when everything's going through record. 
I use my speaker as a way of letting people know what kind of mood I'm feeling right then. That way, if I don't want to be bothered, I play my angry music. And if I want to be loved, then I play my hug me music. And people know, and they're usually pretty receptive to it. Basketball is my passion, but music became a big part of me when I was like 11. I released my anger on the basketball court. I started music, me and my mother had gotten to like a little lightweight disagreement. And I wanted to say stuff to her that I couldn't say because of my age. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna write a poem. So ever since that day, I started writing like different music. I started using that to cope my anger. My life is getting hard every day that I'm living. Really watching bullets travel, gotta stay up on my pivot. The world is on alert, but I'm the missing ticket. KB from the slums, I'll be the tour guy for your visit. Big time shark, I'm swimming with these little fishes. The difference between then and now, it was more gangster, gangster. But now it's about fashion, flossing, and I fucked your bitch and all that. I like Tupac era. You know when 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 it was beefing, when beef was real beef. You know now you know yeah, it's about about making money and networking. You know it ain't about beef. So many things that uh I learned in prison that I take to the, to that that I use to this day. I use them to this day. You know respect and, and you know um, honesty and. To don't steal and those things that I learned in prison. It's crazy that I learned all my morals, like like street morals and, and, and even ethics in prison. Well, I'm a rapper, so naturally music is everything. Like, you know what I mean? Like I had a good run at it too. Like I almost went platinum. <laughs> I had a good run, you know, like uh with Snoop Dogg and the Dog Pound. Them, them was my comrades. Like, I still write rhymes though. You still smack, I smack some of these young MCs out here. They, they ain't ready for me, man. You know, for real. I was spit some MC. I'm trying to cop joints like Shaq's house with gas out. I blast at you out of unregistered glass house. Go platinum like Smash Mouth. Get money the fast route. Either with me or against me. Against me, you ass out. I'ma flip it like a referee coin for ball games. I pop it like ferocious white wallet through dog chains. Kendrick Lamar means, he meant a lot to me because of the simple fact that he was actually one of the young people in my generation that actually spoke out for us to actually let the world know what we seeing, like, no cuts. Like, he says it in his music, like, this is really what we go through, like, for real, for real. So, I feel like if they listening to him and understand where he come from, why they can't listen to me too? My hopes and dreams, I really want to be a fashion designer, like a, a owner of my own clothing line. I do music too, I write music a little bit. I'm gonna still stay diligent to what I gotta do, staying on my feet, you know, and, and don't fall, you know, victim to, 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 the, to the system or, you know, going crazy in the street. My son is 24, or so like, he's a grown man, you know, and the relationship that we have with each other is, is terrible. I did bad as a parent, like, you know, I went to jail, I did some things that, that, I, that, I, that I, I really wish I could take back, but, you know, he, he, he's following my footsteps, he's not, he's not seeing it. Oh, I think people outside think Skid Row as a, as a trashy, nasty, dirty place, but it's really not. We're all trying to help ourselves and trying to get better, but who's willing to help us? God? Where is he? Broadway between 8th and 9th. I come this way a whole lot, like every day, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Um, it takes me out of the darkness down there, all the lights out, all kind of shit, zombie land, you feel me? And, but every now and then, I like to get out of that. As long as I strive to do that, I feel there's hope 
for me to change. I, I feel like there's a, a shot at, at changing my life, you know what I mean? Coming up out of this abyss, man, and just making it, man. Uh, especially with my music, you know, my box. That's my best friend. Find, find, yeah. The knowledge of the world. 